Hey, hey everyone. Welcome to Luna Celine Creations. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. I'm going to teach you how to paint this pretty stemless sunflower wine glass. We're going to be using enamel paints and I'm going to take you through all the steps start to finish so you can do one for yourself at home. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. You start with your nice, fresh, clean, stemless wine glass. I've already cleaned this glass with uh, rubbing alcohol, 70%. And today I'm going to be using uh, folk art paints and Americana uh, Deco Art Gloss Enamels. This is a bright yellow. Um, I didn't end up using the orange, but you can if you'd like a little bit of orange in your petals. You know, creative license. So um, use a variety of greens for the leaves. Uh, that's called evergreen. And this one is called citrus green. And it's really a nice, happy, bright color. I like that. This is a more of a Christmas type green, um, holiday green. I didn't end up using that one for these leaves, but you can. And this is a peridot, I believe it's called. And it has a little metallic hint in it. So I did use a little bit of that. Okay, so I started out with uh, this, the, uh, these four colors on my little palette here. I used the uh, Metallic Peridot, the Citrus Green, the Evergreen, and then uh, a little bit of white just in case I need to lighten something. I always like to do that. That's the Deco Art Glossy Enamels. Just be sure when you buy your paints that they are the type that are meant for glass and meant to be baked. Okay, we're going to use a flat angle brush here to start the leaves to start the greenery and we're going to use kind of a one stroke method where you load up the paintbrush with two different colors and then blend them in you know a single stroke as you go down so you load up your brush you put I put the darker color on the bottom edge and then I just dip the uh, angle tip in the citrus green there the lighter one and then I just go in and I start with the pointy tip to make the tip of the leaf and pull down. And you can see there how those colors are just blending nicely. So it just gives it a little more depth and a nice look. Now, uh, when I did these, I only did one coat. You can go back in after everything's dry and do another coat. Okay, so go ahead and make another leaf facing the uh, other way. And then you're going to go back in as needed and get a little more paint on your brush each time. A little more of each color. Now, I didn't end up using the white here. Um, but you can. It's like I say, it's up to you. However many leaves you want to do or as few as you'd like to do. And just... Um, Sometimes it's a good idea when you're first starting to just get a practice glass and practice making leaves for fun <laughs> until you get the hang of it. If you make a mistake, just use your thumb and wipe it right off. Okay? It's a learning process, so just enjoy it. Alrighty, next step is to do the petals of the sunflower. 
the leaves are all dry now. Uh, I waited a day in between. I let it dry for 24 hours before I started. I have a liner brush and I'm going to start making the outline of my first petal. Just pull it down, make it a little pointy at the end. I like to make it a little pointy and then kind of wiggle out. It almost looks like a starburst um, or a, a small, obviously a sun. <laughs> and then you just uh, use the whole liner brush and sort of, you know, pull the paint all the way down to where your center is going to be in a nice full stroke there. Now I sometimes I will use a flat brush and do this. You can use a flat brush if, if you want. I just decided to use a liner brush this time. So the next thing I like to do is go in and make small dots to start the shape of my center. So I just go around in a circle just to, to give yourself an idea of where your center is and then where your petals are going to spread out from. So I'm just dabbing on small dots with the tip of your liner brush. And then I went around and made another layer around the circle. You can just do one if you'd like. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just your starting point. Okay. When we do eventually fill in the center, it's going to have a little bit of yellow too, but we're also going to use browns and um, deep reds. You can use gold and a little bit of black. Okay, so here I'm going in and making my next petal. And if you're painting along with me here, I hope you're having fun. Now, as we get to, towards the bottom and closer to the leaves there, the greenery, I'll show you a little tip. I like to start the tip of the petal right at the edge of the leaf. I don't like to overlap it because I find sometimes a lighter color over top of a darker color. Um, it, it looks just a little odd, it looks a little strange. So I just prefer to just to bring it right up to the edge of the leaf there. So if you're painting along with me now, I'm going to speed this up in a bit here. So if you want to go ahead and finish your petals, might be a good time to pause the video. show you how to paint the second flower. I like to do three flowers on my glasses. I usually do two that are facing forward and one that is sort of on an angle and flopped over. So in this case you're going to start with your petals that are facing the bottom, facing the greenery. Like I say, hold your glass however you need to, whatever angle works good for you. Um, keep your hand inside the glass it's nice and easy to turn so this shape your center isn't going to be a circle it's going to be like a, a semicircle with a rounded bump so you're gonna make 
leaves that are flopping down towards the greenery like so again same thing just to point make your outline with your liner brush and then and then fill it in fill it with yellow in and then start your dots and this will be like I say a semicircle because this is going to be the flower that's kind of tilted you know so you're not going to see the other side of the petals on the far side you would just be seeing like small bits of yellow to make it look like the back of the flowers it's it's hanging over you know where you can't see it And as you go up towards, which would be the, the middle, your petals are going to get shorter on each end. So just a little shape there. side on the side it's smaller so it looks like it's you know going around there so it's kind of an, uh, an illusion of depth sorry I cut off the the camera angle here a little bit but at least you can still see what I'm doing there now these aren't going to be quite as pointy these are almost just like almost like small rectangles Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for the next part again. You can finish off your third flower and then we'll move on to the centers. Always keep a paper towel handy as well. A damp paper towel is nice to get the extra paint off as you're going. I don't like to use a lot of water when I'm painting with enamels because enamel paint and water don't really like each other and you wanna keep that consistency of your enamel or your multi-surface paint you don't want it watered down. So just to clean your brush as you go, wipe off the excess on your palette or on a paper towel, damp one. Okay, the next step after your uh, first layer of petals is completely dry. You're gonna go in again with your liner brush and just the yellow. As I said earlier, I, I didn't end up using any orange in this blend, but you know, you can. For your first one, you might just wanna stick with yellow. So you go in between each of the petals that you already have and just make a small petal to go in between. Okay, this goes a lot faster. Again, just make a nice point at the end for that sunflower shape and pull it all the way to the center. You can already see how it's starting to fill in. Just gives the flower a nice volume and when you get to this part, you can really start to see how it's taking shape and, and how pretty it's going to look when it's done. I don't know. Sunflowers just make me happy, guys. What can I say? <laughs>
So now you've gone ahead and done your second layer of petals on all three of your flowers and let that dry. It's always a good idea to let things dry in between steps. And you're gonna just go in now and make your stems or your stalks. This is pretty quick, there's only three flowers. And you're just using um, the edge of a flat brush or a flat angle brush. Okay, they don't have to be super thin because sunflowers, they have hardy stalks. You can actually do this part when you're doing your leaves or you can do it now. Okay, now it's time to do the centers of the flowers. So I have a dark brown, which is called coffee bean in that brand. I have a berry wine, any kind of a, a deep red will do. Um, burnt sienna would be good. I have black as well, um, but the black you're gonna not start out with, you're gonna use sparingly. Um, black isn't the most forgiving, so I like to use darker colors, but not black all the time. Uh, I am going to do my dotting with a uh, crocheting hook. This is a 4.5 millimeter one. Um, I find that these re work really nicely to make, uh, to make dots in any kind of my dot art glasses. You can use a bamboo stick, the tiny end or the bigger end. Or if you don't have either of those things, you can simply use the end of a small paintbrush to make your dots. And I'm gonna go in first with my, uh, it's called a coffee bean. It looks like a nice chocolate brown to me. So I'm gonna go in and start dotting. And I just start in a circle with the first color and follow the shape of my, my uh, yellow dots that I had made earlier. And then you can start overlapping them a little bit. Go, go outside. Um, this is, you know, it, this part takes a while, so have some patience with yourself and um, some people could even call it tedious at some points, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's neat to see it as it fills in because at first it looks like, oh gosh, I don't know how this is going to, to look. Um, and then once you get into your third and fourth color, you can really see how it comes together and looks quite nice in the end. Next, I've gone in here with my berry wine. Any kind of a deep dark red will be nice here. And just filling in the space. So the third color I go in here with is the black. And I, I, I fill in as, as much of the spaces as I, I think need to be filled in. Now at this point, you can go back in with your other two dark colors, also a little bit of gold, just whatever you think you need in there to make it look how you want it to look. Around the edges, I do a, a scallop kind of an edge with the black. and just keep putting those small dots until you're happy with the shape of your center. So when you're finished painting your glass, um, if you happen to get any smudges or splatters or mistakes anywhere on there that you need to take off, just use acetone nail polish remover and carefully with a Q-tip, just remove that. So there you are, your pretty stemless sunflower wine glasses are complete. Well, not quite. Let them dry for 24 to 48 hours and then bake them in a cold oven. I'll leave the full baking instructions in the description box for you. Thanks again for stopping by my channel and from all of us here at Luna Celine Creations. We hope you have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. What type of wine glass would you like to paint next? Let me know in the comments.
Cheers to you all, and we'll see you in the next one.